Whenever I pick up the bottle or some other punishing substance, I am set on the path of destruction, and the ones I care for most are on the front lines doing damage control. Addiction is a selfish storm of relentless strength, some perverted force of nature that human powers have little hope of combating. This deadly cyclone cannot often be thwarted by any human effort, no matter how sincere and desperate. The only option one has when such a storm is on their doorstep is to take cover and either assist in disaster recovery post-mayhem, relying on some higher power to prevent another catastrophe, or to move far away where the climate is less familiar and less likely to bring tragedy. Once the toxins in my system subside, I am left to absorb the reciprocated energy of my actions. Only then do I witness the debris of my own demolition, with those I love dispersed among the rubble. This heinous vibrancy my mind and body can barely withstand as the morning after my brain has become a barren wasteland, treated as a rich mine of dopamine now depleted by a horde of substances working as greedy excavators, leaving my neural receptors as dry as a desert plain. Thus the cycle continues, and the source of my misery beckons. Its taunts of instant gratification and temporary relief ring loudly in my ears, soon followed by justification to indulge, and off I go again, lost to the whirlpool of chemical delusion and chaos not knowing when it will spit me out. It seems as if all the desperate repentance I've gone through in my life never enacted any change. As I impatiently waited for my supplier to arrive, I realized I was coming to the end of the longest flood of substance abuse and self-loathing I've ever endured. I just had to ride one more wave of this unabating hurricane, one final tsunami to end the storm, one last time. I've had hundreds of one last times in my life.